With all engines, it is very important to set the valve timing as precisely as possible. The more precisely it is set, the more accurately the engine control unit can regulate the atomization process. Precise adjustment of the valve timing is essential for the efficiency in operation of the Volkswagen Group's EA211 range of engines. As such, Phoebe have developed an engine timing toolkit that enables the valve timing to be set correctly on the 1 litre, 1.2, 1.4, 1.5 and 1.6 variants of this engine. In this video, we demonstrate how this new toolkit is used. However, it is recommended that you familiarise yourself with the timing belt replacement process and the instructions for the toolkit before commencing work. First, locate the crankshaft locking pin blanking plug on the rear of the engine block and remove it. Screw the crankshaft locking pin into the threaded hole and tighten to 10 Nm. Then turn the crankshaft clockwise until it locks against the locking pin. Remove the water pump module and drive belt, followed by the pulley driven by the camshaft. Note the puller for camshaft sprocket set 100109 is required for the 1.5 variant of this engine. Once removed, check both camshaft flats are in the horizontal position. To accurately check the camshaft timing, it is necessary to fit the corresponding inclinometer reference bar from the kit for the engine being worked on. Ensure that this area is clean so that the bar fits flush and is touching the bottom of the cylinder head along its full length. Assemble the camshaft locking tool and choose the appropriate spacers and adapters for the engine being repaired, then install it to the cylinder head. Insert the camshaft adapters through the locking plate, ensuring the ends engage properly with the camshafts and that you are following the toolkit instructions for the relevant engine variant. For reference, check the angle of the camshafts using the inclinometers. Switch them on and allow the readings to stabilise. Place the inclinometer upside down against the reference bar and allow to stabilise. Holding the inclinometer against the reference bar, press 0 to set it to 0 degrees. Move the inclinometer to the flat on the inlet adapter, ensuring it is the correct way up, and record the value shown. Repeat for the exhaust adapter and record the readings. Note the arrows on the inclinometer indicate the direction that go to 0 degrees. Arrow up for negative angle, arrow down for positive angle. To remove the timing belt, first remove the inclinometers, then lock the camshaft adapters by lifting the red and blue locking levers and inserting the lever stop pins. Using an appropriate pulley holding tool, loosen the inlet camshaft adjuster control valve and the exhaust camshaft pulley bolt, allowing the pulleys to move freely. With the crankshaft still seated against the crankshaft locking pin and the camshafts locked, remove the old belt, tensioner and idler pulley. With the crankshaft still sealed against the crankshaft locking pin and both camshafts locked, install the new idler, tensioner and timing belt. Check the camshaft pulleys can turn independently of the camshafts, then tension the belt using the tensioner pulley adjuster as detailed in the manufacturer's instructions. Using the appropriate holding tools, tighten the camshaft pulley fixings to the manufacturer's specified torque setting. To check the timing, first release the red and blue locking levers by removing the lever stops, then take out the crankshaft locking pin. Turn the crankshaft two complete turns, stopping just before returning to the TDC position. Next, reinsert the crankshaft locking pin and turn until the crankshaft stops against it. Recheck the camshaft angles using the inclinometers and compare the readings to the manufacturer's specification. 
If no adjustment is required, the camshaft pulleys can be tightened to the manufacturer's torque settings. However, if adjustment is required, perform the following procedure. With the crankshaft still set against the crankshaft pin, lock the camshafts. Then, using the pulley holding tool, loosen the inlet camshaft adjuster control valve and exhaust camshaft pulley bolt. Place the inclinometer upside down against the reference bar and allow to stabilise. Holding against the reference bar, press 0 to set it to 0 degrees. Then move the inclinometer to sit on the flat of the inlet camshaft adapter, making sure it is the correct way up. Insert a 6mm hex key into the end of the inlet camshaft adapter and, while holding the hex key, unlock the inlet camshaft by removing the lever stop pin. Adjust the position of the camshaft using the hex key until 0 degrees is shown on the inclinometer. Then lock the adapter with the locking lever and reinsert the lever stop pin. Repeat this procedure for the exhaust cam. Once both camshafts are set to zero and locked, tighten the camshaft pulley fixings to 20 Newton meters. Release the red and blue locking levers by removing the lever stop pins, then remove the crankshaft locking pin. Turn the crankshaft two complete turns, stopping just before returning to the TDC position. Reinstall the crankshaft locking pin, then turn until the crankshaft stops against it. Recheck the camshaft values using the inclinometers, taking note of the recorded values to calculate the correction angle. To ensure precise timing belt alignment and installation on this engine, remember to refer to the instructions. Once satisfied the engine timing is set correctly, remove the timing tools and tighten all bolts to the manufacturer's settings. Refit the water pump pulley and install the new water pump drive belt and water pump. Completing a precise installation and guaranteeing the lasting reliability and performance of this Phoebe timing belt kit.